Hey guys, first fan of the night. First fan of the night. Uh, it's just me here. So this is theoretically a surprise for everybody, I think. So this will probably be a Patreon-only video until this project either happens or I change my mind and don't do it. So if you're seeing this video now, you're seeing it on Patreon. If you're seeing it later, it's probably public. Uh, and either way, go to patreon.com slash dspiffy to see more things. <clears throat> so, this is theoretically destined for my kitchen. Let's talk a little bit about it. Um, this is a Calcutta. This is the fan that was in the office at Becker Lighting. However, it had long arms on it, making it a 42-inch fan. Um, there you go. And I do not like long arms on small fans. I uh, don't think there's any examples where I like long arms on small fans. If there are, correct me in the comments. Um, but <clears throat> short arms on big fans, yes. Long arms on big fans, yes. Short arms on small fans, yes. Long arms on small fans, no. Um, and so I'd been on. I was originally going to have a set cast um, for this. And then I bought two fans. I don't know who made them. I think they're labeled with some company I've never heard of. But what they look like is... You guys have ever seen the Hugger American Industries that has the stamped housing instead of the cast housing? It's very thin and flimsy with almost like builder vents. Um, usually mounts with a square mounting bracket and has like a four-speed click knob. Uh, these look like those, but they're downrod fans with... Um, with uh, uh, ball socket brackets, um, Homestead Superfan GE DC motors, and instead of the standard American Industries brackets that those would have come with, they came with stub brackets. I have two of them. I don't think either one works. And then I think they also have, both have bad flywheels. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to try to get one of them working. But I, I decided it would probably be silly to try to get both working because I would never install a fan like that. Um, so, um, I robbed a set of blade, br blade brackets off that, and I actually don't think the antique brass and brown combination looks bad. I really do want to hear what you guys think in the comments, um, but I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, and I'm pretty sure I do. I, I would really, you know what I would really like now that I think about it is to give this an antique brass sideband as well. I don't know if I have an easy way to do that. I wonder... I wonder if a Four Seasons sideband would fit, because I could part out a Four Seasons. It looks a little bigger than a Four Seasons housing, but I'm not sure. I'll probably leave it alone, but that's an idea I would love. So, now I kind of want to do that. We'll see. Um, so the question is, is this going to go in the kitchen? Because, and again, this is... Patreon now, this will be public later, um, but there's going to be a few updates shared in my annual Christmas tour. I do two Christmas tours, one when the decorations are done and one on the first snowfall. <coughs> my goal is <coughs> to have the fans different in both of them. So right now, um, we've switched the dining room fan and we've switched the bedroom fans and I'm not switching anything else until I do the first Christmas tour. And then after that... I'm going to either switch the kitchen fan or the bedroom fans again, or both, before the big snowfall. Uh, which, I mean, you never know when the big snowfall is going to be, but um, it's usually not until around Christmas or uh, sometimes into January. So, um, yeah, so the question is, is this going to go in the kitchen? And this was, I originally wanted a, either a 42-inch original or a... Uh, 36 inch 38 inch four seasons for the kitchen either in brown and haven't been able to find either one This is when the air shadow was over the table on uh, the reason I wanted a brown fan was to match the bronze air shadow Now there's a brass fan over the table. So what I kind of want a small brass fan um, In the kitchen area and I'm Still kind of trying to figure out like if I had if this was all antique brass It would be a no-brainer for the kitchen area now, but I don't have an antique brass. I have it in brown which is cooler but, um, 
But yeah, so I don't know what's gonna go there. I could do another I could do another smaller A and G. I could do this. I think the options are either keep the ANG that's there, swap it to a smaller and or planar ANG, uh, or do this. Um, I also, maybe if I ever get my Antique Brass Four Seasons back from the museum, that's K63, that's pretty cool. But that also has an integrated light kit that I hate to remember. I don't know. I'm definitely going to try this in the kitchen at some point, because this is what I always wanted for the kitchen. It's just the question is, how does it look with the other fans in the area? The one over the table being... <clears throat> kind of a hybrid of polished and antique brass. The one in the living room being black and copper, and then the one over the stairwell being brown and antique brass. So uh, that's that's where we're at. Um, so stay tuned. Um, and uh, welcome your updates and comments. So I believe this is set to low on the pull chain. Is that low? I mean, I didn't adjust the variable speed knob. I guess that's low on the on the variable speed. I hear a little buzz from the cane. But really no other noise. Maybe a faint hum. So I'm, I'm happy to call it bedroom quiet. Where did I step on? I keep stepping on stuff. Yeah, it's definitely a loose cane that I'm hearing. 0.62, 73 watts, whole power factor. Oh, I should do all the doobly news. Wow, I've not done these in a while, so this will be interesting. Totally not used to doing videos by myself. 1144. Now it says 9.03. That says, okay, let's go right here, because I, Two eighty one, that seems about right. Not two eighty one for the whole thing. Let's see. Actually I can do the math in reverse. Yeah, that's right around the eleven forty four. So that's actually pretty solid. So 570, trying the Rick and Pete methods. I saw 570 once, but I saw 530 a lot. So I'm going to go with 530. And I'm going to measure it, because I don't actually know with these arms if it's 38 or 36. I like this a lot. I definitely am excited to try it in the kitchen. It's just, I went from having, it's it's just we're going the wrong direction in terms of similarity between the two kitchen fans. I want them to be similar, but I want the one over the kitchen to be plainer and smaller, and, and uh, but I want them to otherwise be similar. And this isn't going to be at all similar. Other than the fact that it's going to be four blades, cane. 
That's really going to be the only similarity is the 4K and blades. So that is measuring at 37 with these irons. Let me just see if I can get a... Thirty-seven. Okay, we'll have to do maths. Meanwhile, I will reverse it. And this time, we'll use the solid state on the test rig just so we can get more of a range. So, so I'm gonna inch it up. So that's about 4,000 CFM. Very, very, very faint hum that I do not know if it would be there without the solid state. I guess I could test that because... I would bypass the solid state to put it in the kitchen anyhow. Is Phillips their flathead? Let's test it. To bypass the solid state. By the way, it's the middle of the night. I'm supposed to be working on something else or sleeping. Well, I was, I was supposed to have completed a different project today. Long story, but I didn't. And I wanted to, I'm just going to unplug this just in case there's a live neutral. Pain to bypass, great. Switch out against that tight. Easy enough to fix. But what's the easiest way to bypass this and make it reversible? I hate cutting wires, but it looks like probably cutting wires. Turn the lamp on, plug it back in, I 
And because of the way I wired it, the pull chain now goes on, on, off, off, instead of on, off, on, which for lack of a better way to put it, was deliberate. It was just the only way I could bypass it with only cutting one wire, because I don't like cutting wires. As Metal Pete will testify. As I always ask Pete not to cut wires unnecessarily. You guys got to cheat a little bit on inrush. I didn't see it. So. Okay, I'm gonna assume big. Oh, we're still in reverse. One more and it's big. Interesting that it is quieter with the solid state in series. That's crazy. I don't know why that would be. It does draw less current with a solid state in series. Does the power factor change? Not really. Okay, well that's worth that's worth some consideration there. Debating whether to channel his metalness and eat this donut that somebody gave me yesterday while it's spinning down. You guys probably know I don't eat sweets the same way that like Metal Pete does. I'm not a, uh, I think I probably did when I was younger. I'm trying to think if I did before I got sick. I think that might have been something I lost a taste score and never got it back. But my friend Mallory gave me a vegan donut yesterday. And normally I'm against anything vegan. <coughs> um, but Mallory, um, is, uh, a, she and her people, because she owns a cafe, are able to make things that are vegan and gluten-free and that kind of stuff that tastes almost as good, if not as good, if not sometimes better than the real thing. So, um, okay, let's try the test rig. I think it's going to start in two. Yep, two. Wow, pretty solid start, too. Three is a good metal low.
four, we're already up to medium low. Five, we're already too fast for a low or a, maybe a good medium low. Six. Seven. Eight, we're already in medium high category. Let me hear heat off the distance crunch. You guys wanna see the vegan donut? I've only had a bite of it, so I'm kind of surprised at how good it is. Huh? Eh? It's very Homer Simpson. I'll wait till 12 and 20, if we get to 20, to eat that. So now I've got chocolate on my hands. I wonder how many things get smudges on them during videos because of the peat and the crunching. It's nine. 10. Wow, that really made a mess of me. I got chocolate all over my hands and all I did was pick it up. Eleven. Twelve. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Let's try the messy. Ooh, so much melted chocolate. It's good though. I'm not a big donut person. And the one my favorites are um Boston cream, and after that, apple fritter. So, not something I would normally buy, but I did want to see if the vegan one was as good as a regular one, and honestly, it is. 13. Are we over? Oh, well, that must have been on, I guess. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it is safe on any control. So high is Yeah. Okay, well I gotta do zero to high again, I guess. Must have had the lamp on. I wonder did I have it on for the tack and all that? No, right? <clears throat> Vegan donut, who would have thought? Who would have thought I would have ever tried one? Well, that's not true. I, I try anything... That's legal and safe. Okay, so let's do zero to high again. I still say big and rush. Goes up to one. Nope, no in rush. Nope, it can't decide. But man, that thing is flying. I'm gonna test it again because I'm not sure if I had. Cane is really rattling. This time we're getting a very, very solid 1024. I don't even know what I did with the calculator. That's going to be like a little over 250, so that's pretty close. I got 551, 570. Let me do that math again. So that's the second 570. <clears throat> 
37 divided by 24 squared times pi <clears throat> times 570. Yeah, it's more like 4300 CFM. <coughs> Excuse me. So the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to take it to where I hear a little hum with the solid state. So it's drawn about 0.86. Let's get to a capacitor speed that's about the same. That's 26. Very, very faint hum from the solid state. I would still call it silent. Like the hum I'm getting from the ballasts and blender fans and things of that nature. Am I dumb? I had it on power factor that whole time. I guess that's why I don't do videos by myself at 3 a.m. One more time for zero to high. I was right the first time. So in my defense, where I'm sitting, you can't really see the meter. Yeah. Doesn't really change anything, but my apologies for that whole inaccurate section of the video. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm, I'm seated to the, I'm seated over here, so I can't see the meter except in the camera, and in the camera it doesn't clearly show whether it's on amp or power factor, in the viewfinder at least. So, my bad, my B. Um, yeah, I don't feel the need to do it over. We know... It doesn't have a resonant frequency. We know it's good for solid state. Good for any control, really. Just starts real low. <clears throat> that cane's a little loose. Yeah. Okay, so... On the Dan scale, this is very high. I'm going to put it in the Menards, which is my top category. It would be a little higher if the blade arms were original. However, I do think they offered this as an option. I've got to look for a Calcutta catalog, but I'm pretty sure they offered this as an option. So I'm not too mad at it. I'm going to guess for Rick and Pete and Jonas, it's probably also either the... the top of their middle category or in their top category and i bet you that all of them would would like no you gotta have the original blade arms but i bet you if it came like this they would still like it just as much um so as long as they didn't know that the blade arms weren't original um i think it would probably rank higher uh, that's just my guess they're not here we can peer peak crunching off their business crunching and uh not sure what Rick is doing off in the distance, maybe. Uh, well, listening to Christmas music, I guess. That's a very Rick thing, and that's something that him and I both share. Um, you can hear his van revving in the distance. I don't know. You can hear him murdering people, because we all think Rick's a serial killer. Not really sure what Rick is doing off in the distance. Put, put, if you have suggestions, put it in the comments. Um, actually, let me see if I can get it started on one. I'm just curious. So, I should be in bed. I have a dentist appointment tomorrow, and then I have some work to do in the afternoon, and then we're supposed to do a barn night tomorrow. So, there are no one. Um, I will put on lamp, though. 
So I really should not be doing fan videos by myself at 3 a.m. But like I said earlier, so I did, I was, okay, I'll tell the whole story. Because this is a, right now this is a Patreon video. And by the time it comes out, Christmas will pass and everything like that. So once you see the Christmas video, I organized the decorating of my entire block. So every house, except for one that was a Grinch and didn't agree, has decorations in front of it that all, that all go together. And, um, as a result, then I've had some neighbors helping and I've had some neighbors that want to do their own decorations in addition to what we did together. And then I've had some help with mine and I did mine bigger and, and badder than before. And Rick, as well as my neighbors helped with those. Um, so today I was going to start cleaning up my house so I could do the inside decorations. That was what was on my schedule for today. I'm actually like a week behind. But given everything we did outside, I thought it was okay. And um, <clears throat> there have been two neighbor kids that have been helping. Camille, who's 10, and Kaylee, who's 12. And um, they've been a big help, and they've loved it. And if you know me, you know I love nothing more than seeing kids enjoying the same stuff that makes me happy. So fans, Christmas, Christmas decorations, music. You know, any of the things that, that made me happy when I was a kid and still make me happy when I was an adult, uh, I love to do them with kids. And so the fact that I had kids that were excited about the Christmas decorations and helping me decorate was amazing. I loved it. Um, and so Camille wanted to know if we were doing any decorating today because she wanted to help. And I said, well, I was going to do the inside of my house, but it's not ready yet um, because... Uh, um, because I need to clean first. And once I clean, then you can help with that. But one of our other neighbors is decorating the outside of his house today. Maybe you could help with that. Camille is 10. And either Camille or Camille's mom, I'm not sure which one, um, basically said that they didn't want Camille outside working with the neighbors unless I was supervising. Because I'm the adult that everybody knows and trusts. And so, um, in other words, I, if Camille was going to help the other neighbor, then I had to be out there. And so instead of doing my own cleaning and decorating inside, I was doing, I was kind of supervising with a neighbor decorating so that so the kids could help. Um, and that was great. But between that and climbing on my own roof and everything I've done this week, uh, and you guys know that my, I've been disabled since COVID. And so I've been doing a lot of stuff that my doctors would tell me I shouldn't do. And uh, I paid the price. And when I came inside, I was too sore to do anything else. So I went and laid down. Um, and, but I had to get back up again because I hadn't taken my meds or done anything to prepare for the night. So I got back up again and I was like, well, it's too late to start the projects with the cleaning and the decorating, but I want to do something to make the night productive. Um, so that's why I was like, well, let's, let's do a video of that fan in the garage because I really like it and I want to see what other people think. So that's why I did that tonight. Um, the good news is the decorations outside look amazing. I might put some video of those on Patreon. Um, I'm definitely going to do the annual Christmas tour, and I'm excited about that. Um, and yeah, so, uh, and Florida Fan Stick has been exceptionally useful in the decorating process. We have used a lot of Florida Fan Stick uh, in getting these decorations up because we've done some high trees and things of that nature. Um, so thank you to our sponsors, Fan Stick, Light Stick. Uh, Fansick Mini and Florida Fansick. To find out more, go to fansick.com, fansick.biz, lightstick.biz, and buy fansickxx.com. As always, the good manufacturing company Taco Burrito Mexico. Sperry, is there a Sperry can around here? No, surprisingly. My Metal Pete must have drank them all. Um, or Stewart. Stewart drinks way more soda than anybody I've ever met in my life. Um, uh, so thank you to the seat. Taco Burrito Mexico, Sperry, A1220 LLC, where our motto is rickersheep.com. As always, patreon.com slash dspiffy. A shout out to our special guest on Manny Videos, Metal Jonas. We couldn't do it without you. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and continue to support our sponsors by buying Fanstick. Thanks for watching.